My home is Devon Branch and on this rather chilly November day and we're doing a quick video on this red hot Profundo Red Swift Select 144. So Swift are Britain's biggest motorhome uh, manufacturer, independent group, been around since the uh, late 70s. This is one of their van conversion range built in the Autocruise factory in Mexborough. It's a rear lounge, 2021, automatic, it's a three berth, it's a three berth James, not a two berth. There's James over there, it is a three berth, there we go, I knew we'd get something wrong on the window sheet but I checked that and I didn't spot that, so it's a three berth, four seat belts, three and a half ton based on the Fiat Cato, 2.3 with the new nine speed automatic, turbo diesel, it's a 140 horsepower engine, not the 120 entry level one, um, three and a bit thousand miles, which is uh, just under six metres long, 2.26 wide, that's with the mirrors folded, body width 2.05, heights 2.72, Price is 61995 We think a new one of these for 2023, if you could get one, which you can't due to chassis shortages, so which is easy to say, would be top of the 60s. So you're saving several thousand pounds. It's got a load of extras on this one, and it's uh, here and ready in a colour that you can't get anymore. So Profundo Red looking fantastic. It's got the black high gloss style pack there. It's got the LED daytime running lights, headlights, which you also can't get anymore due to the chip shortage. Uh, 15 inch, maybe 16 inch Fiat alloy wheels. Got um, short little stubby arm van wing mirrors. Only mark on this van is a very slight cosmetic scuff on that mirror. We'll put you some mirror guards over there to protect your mirror and cover up that scuff. We've got a two lay full length Omnistore awning in black proper double glazed side windows which are much better for some light scratching on there we should be able to polish that out um, which are much better for uh, heat retention compared to the single glazed ones used by certain other van converters underslung fresh and waste water tanks with drain taps there we've got a three-way fridge freezer still with these which some people like some people don't like uh, so that will run off gas when you're not on the mains mains when you are on the mains and 12 volt uh, from your engine alternator while you're driving Flew for your Truma digitally controlled gas and electric blown air heating system. Coming around to the rear, one of the extras fitted on this van is we've got a bike rack. We've also got a four reversing sensor array, which I think was factory fitted. And we've got a uh, really good quality Dometic reversing camera. I think that's a double camera. I'm open to being wrong on that, but um, if it's a double camera, which I think it is, you've got one camera that points down low for when you're reversing, so you can just see up to about there. And you've got the other one, which is that one, which points further back for when you're driving. So it's an end lounge model, so you've got opening rear, opening rear windows on the back there. Uh, this one's called Rosie. I wonder why she's called Rosie, but the van is that good. ACDC wrote a song about her. So opening up the back doors, I've got a nice end lounge. It's got your carpets there. Now what Swift do with the 144 and Autocruise did with its uh, accent, I think it was the predecessor to this, is they raise up the floor of the rear lounge. Uh, and amongst other reasons, the reason they do that is number one, so they can fit the gas locker underneath. So unlike most van conversions, which have a gas tank they built in this country, this has got a traditional gas locker. Has its plus sides, Caligas, so you can get anywhere where you can fit refillable bottles there or have one of each uh, whereas lpg the supply is limited as its downsides as well on, on expense and no 24 hour access to um to bottled gas so it swings and roundabouts but they raise the floor up which means underneath you've got a need for two hands to do it you've got a really good bit of storage under there so i come down there you can see that's full length there so that's a really good place to put your lounger chairs things like that because you're always a bit limited on storage with these end lounge van conversions you've also got bits of storage underneath your side sofas there we've got a bit of bit of storage down there as well that's quite a long bit of storage there which is good condition is pretty much immaculate bar that little scuff on the uh, on the mirror there it's spot on which is really really good as you'd expect from a van that's only done 3,000 miles coming around the driver's side we've got your mains hook up and uh, this one had a factory fitted 40 watt solar panel that has been removed and upgraded to a 100 watt solar panel which you can see up there there's also TV aerial on the roof that's your waste water drain point nice and solid easy to get to your set for cassette toilet dump point Fresh water infill point there, and uh, you do have a little two pin 12 volt socket there, so you can, if it's not still got it with it, get a little sucker pump. So, if you want to trundle water to the van, uh, you put your sucker pump in and that will suck it into the tank. 
absolutely gorgeous this colour, I love Profundo Red. Unfortunately with um, chassis supply problems, Fiat just simplified their colour range and got rid of all your golds and your blues and your things like that, so Profundo Red's a bit of the dust, but it's a lovely colour. Cab spec wise, most important thing, 9 speed ZF, fully automatic gearbox, ridiculously desirable, only just starting to appear onto the used scene. Uh, the Fiat Auto box changed to this ZF German fully automatic gearbox uh, from 2020 onwards. We're not seeing many used ones yet and it's so desirable. It's really, really good. So we've got central lock-in, electric windows, electric mirrors, these nice um, Remis, Remis, I think, um, cab blinds and windscreen blinds. We've got that real high quality Dometic reversing camera there. We've got the Eco Pack auto stop start that you can switch off it and noise you. Doesn't have sat nav. Um, to me, the days of in dash sat nav are gone anyway. We can upgrade this Bluetooth DAB stereo system to a Apple CarPlay touchscreen job if you want. But you've got air conditioning, cruise control, uh, speed limiter, and you can Bluetooth your phone to that stereo system should you wish um, and get a, a standalone, easier to update, motone specific sat nav. Other thing you do on all Swift Escapes is you've got the beautiful panoramic skylight which floods the van with light and that's standard on these. So uh, opening up your sliding door, so you've got an electric step, you've got a rail there which lets you to hook on your front table outside for if you're, uh, you're sitting outside you want somewhere to, to put things, little flip up, flip up table there. So we've got a raised level front seating area, this will slide out there meet up with the cab seat to make a small-ish single bed ideally for kids uh, two very small kids one larger child or one jockey um, lovely two-tone very high quality upholstery that should be quite hard wearing LED lights all the way around we've got storage underneath of there there's a leaf on the table that comes out so you can have three four people sat around that's your lovely skylight up there with another big opening skylight really nice up lighters two-tone cabinet work the ambience on these is very very good if i close the close the sliding door there so i have a little little pan around so this is a six meter van some vans are this layout 6.34 this is a 5.99 meter one and it's a nice place to be in fairness it is it's a nice place to be um so we've got the outside awning light switch there oh no that's for your up lighters we've got swift command um, due to the computer chip shortage swift command which is swift's amazing in-house um, electronic tracking and control system app based as well um, so this is a real advanced bit of kit so you've got simple enough to use all your buttons for your heating your lights your water levels things like that all on there you can adjust how bright your lighting is this has got a tracker built in as well really cool you can download things control them from your phone next to that is the digital heating and hot water control panel there there's an aftermarket fly screen door being fitted on this um, you might like it if you don't like it we can take it off but it'll keep the midges at bay little storage pockets in the door Kitchen on a six metre van of, of this sort of layout is a little bit limited, but we've got a two burner gas hob. We've got a little sink there. High level cupboard instead of a microwave, which is uh, better for storage. Some decent kitchen storage. Only a grill, not an oven. So if you're an oven, select 144 is not for you. The front dinette. So you've got concertina blinds and fly screens and all the window. High level storage cupboard. Your TV will just drop on there. And then you've got two forward facing, quite ergonomic, comfortable seat belted seats. Fridge freezer is down here. I like this. Previous owners fitted this there. Uh, that's really neatly done. This, I would imagine, when it's on, it's probably always lit up. So they fitted that maybe to um, well, either. Uh, I don't think it is always lit up. I think what this probably is is to stop you brushing against the fridge when you come past. That's kind of neat and accidentally switching it off. Fridge is immaculate, still got the original stickers on from new. We've got a full width freezer compartment and a decent sized fridge. Above that is your wardrobe. These are infill cushions for your, I think your front bed. Yeah, for your front bed. So if you're not using your front bed as a bed, you don't need them. Your digital um, directional TV area, which these are really good, uh, is in there as well. And then your rear lounge. So you've got access to your storage in your rear lounge there, as well as underneath the side seats. Four high-level storage cupboards, rear speakers, down lighters, up lighters, opening skylight, opening two rear windows and an opening side window. It's a nice place to sit. Second TV point there, which is great. 
previous owners added this little storage thing that could come off if you want but um, they're quite neat TV point and plug sockets up there and this simply slides together to make a double bed or oh, it doesn't slide together so you drop a couple of tables in move your backrest in the middle make it into a double bed now if you want a fixed bed just leave it made up as a bed so it gives you flexibility which maybe a permanently fixed bed doesn't if we're being picky there's some little screw holes up high there both there and there which i'm guessing where they've had some form of i don't know rear door fly screen i'm not sure what, what would have been up there but it's only very very minor bathroom typical van conversion wet room bathroom we've got a, a little high level storage cupboard there all total wet room you've got your shower which pulls out and clips up to that holder over there or we'll leave it in and use it as a sink absolutely immaculate awning winder pole on the back of there so this is her really that's about all there is to say so she is a swift select 144 2021 only 3,000 miles from new in profundo red it's automatic it's got the bigger solar panel it's got an awning it's got a tow bar on the back which you can put a bike rack on which is great it's got the swift command control system with a tracker built in for security air conditioning cruise control it's got the real swanky expensive dometic reversing camera the upgraded solar panel and the tv aerial so there's not really much to add to it it's priced at 61.95 it's a good saving over the equivalent new price and you can't get a new one even if you wanted one anyway due to the chassis shortage shouldn't hang around very long so we are hybrid motorhomes devon branch this is when i normally pull out a card but i haven't got a card on me so hybrid motorhomes devon you can ring us on 01626 that's 01626 if we are all busy out on the forecourt doing videos of lovely red van conversions then um you can call me direct on the mobile or one of my staff on 07432 662558. That's 07432 662558. Or you can check us out on the Hybrish Caravans website, hybridcaravans.co.uk. Or pop down and see us. That road over there, you can see cars whizzing past. That's the South Devon Expressway, just after the end of the M5. We're at Newton Abbott, which is between Exeter and Plymouth, on the busiest, biggest road in all of South Devon, and it is literally next to us. So, Swift Select 144 61 automatic at Highbridge Motorhomes, Devon. Thank you very much. Goodbye.